one that actually has been a burden you know has been a burden and has and this is very prevalent i mean a while ago a friend of mine she sent me a text on whatsapp actually she she said um she actually wanted to ask a question and then she felt she was very she sounded worried it was actually a video i'm sorry she was she sounded worried she was like she doesn't understand that she wants to understand why why um after leaving a very powerful meeting, oh, God. why after leaving? Okay, should I pick up again? No, no, go on. Okay. okay. Why after leaving a very powerful meeting, um, maybe like a week after, it's like the meeting never, never happened. happened. It never happened. And she was wondering that her she was so blessed. She fell under the anointing, screamed her lungs out. But I see the pouring coals of fire on her. She drank a bowl of fire, <laughs> and then it was as if it never happened. So she was wondering that is this something that she is something that she needs to you know learn like why is it why is that it's just you know slipping from her grasp so how can we maintain the fire of a revival once it hits us yeah because you know since we are in a time whereby things are happening very fast and God is raising men He's raising soldiers so she doesn't want to be we don't want to we don't want to lose our time. so how can we maintain the fire of revival revival okay. Thanks once again for having me, Ella and Dara. Uh, this is a very interesting um, question and topic because um, this is my passion. This is my, you know, my heartbeat to see people on fire. Now, to answer your question, why do we lose 
what you know happened in the meetings i must begin by defining you know what fire is you know, what do we mean by fire you're on fire you know and to to give some definition to that i'll just describe the fire is boldness you know fire is hunger fire is passion for the word of god for prayer for evangelism you know loving jesus is fire you know so just copy and paste as we keep on you know going on in this this broadcast fire is everything that you know is a catalyst that makes the kingdom of god move mm. fast if people are not on fire nothing moves mm. a church that is on fire is advancing it's growing it's impacting the society you know and results happen when there's fire fire causes effects you know that you can tangibly relate to it so what makes people lose the fire first and foremost because this happens a lot in ministry after ministrations you finish ministry somewhere someone sees you meets you after the meeting the person has not even got home gotten home yet hmm. person has not even reached the house the person is already afraid that the person will lose the fire hmm. or he or she will lose the fire so you are feeling like you're hungry for god like you want to spend time with the word of god and prayer you can't wait to get back home but you are already afraid hmm. that this will be like every other time now I must say that that is the reason why it happens. Number one, that's number one reason why it happens. Mm. Because 